<laughs> Hi, welcome to the Conscious Spirit. I'm Pam. I'm Mary Lynn. Together, we are TCS Everyday, Everyday Psychics. Psychics. Yes. We have um, a requested uh, reaction video yeah, today. Many requests for this. Yes. We actually considered maybe not doing it, and then we kept getting requests, and we knew we had to. Yep. So. And it is the Lizzie Borden house with Sam and Colby. Yeah. So there are many things that, uh, well, I, well, I want to talk about, but go ahead. What were there you There is say? a lot of things to talk <laughs> about with this one. But first of all, subscribe to our channel. Yes, please. Like the videos, share it with your friends, because yes. uh, we're really trying to hit our first uh, benchmark of 100 subscribers. So please, please, yes. please help us out. And we'll do something special at that yes. point. We will. Um, so first of all, we grew up with this story. This is n nothing yes. new. Um, that one of the reasons we didn't want to do this video is because we know we know we've we grew up knowing yep. knowing it knew it. <laughs> we grew up knowing, knowing it too. <laughs> yes, um, and the the song, the song. Oh my gosh! The movies, the made for yeah. TV thing. I mean, the, everything we've known for a long yeah. time. And then as psychics, we've also looked into it as well. Um, we do have our belief in what happened. We're going to wait until after to to share that. Yes. Um, in the, one of the comments, it said that Sam and Colby figured out what they believe is to be like the killer or whatever. Like they figured it out. Okay. So we thought we would wait until after. Yes. And yes. tell you what we think. Yeah. And this will be this will be really good um, for me anyway to put my uh, put my opinion my experience. Yeah on hold put that aside and really focus on what it is what the energy is uh that's happening at the time of this video yeah. um yeah. to get the ghost point of view who are there now yes yeah yeah because it's not about what i think right. um it's about what the ghosts are thinking that are in the space at the time of this video speaking so, of that be good. um yes. so last week when we decided to do this video um a man came in, he showed himself as um, the, the father, father, right? The father. Um, and if you've all been watching our videos, which I know you have, you know that we don't allow entities to stay in our home. No. We don't, we, no, we no, keep no, them no. clear. So um, Marilyn had the brilliant idea, <laughs> just send them to TCS and we'll talk there. Yep. So. That's what we've done. So as soon as we showed up today, he came right in. Um, he yeah. is not Lizzie Borden's father, however. <laughs> he is, he likes to be called, and when I say he, it's because it's very masculine energy. Yes. Um, even when he presents as a woman. So he's very masculine, so I, I say he. Um, he likes to be called a witch. Um, he's standing like right, right about here. Um, he like he likes to be called a witch. He changes shape. I know sometimes people will uh, use the term shapeshifter um, and some other things, but he was very clear on witch. He is a liar, however. He is a <laughs> con man, um, and yeah. he likes to con the people at the Lizzie Borden home by changing what it like right now now he's standing there as who are you standing there as the sister <laughs> not lizzie but the sister um and now he's changed again he's someone else so he keeps changing he in life as a con man he conned people out of their money um, out of property Whatever he wanted, it was a con. That's mm -hmm. what he did. He lived a long time ago. I don't think that he has had an actual physical life for a very long time. He's, he's been mm -hmm. in spirit for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, what I picked up about him, and I believe that, that he has not come back into human form because he thinks humans are stupid. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, do you see the lights flash right when and you said that? He's, uh, yeah. he's very intrigued. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, in that stupidity that he believes, yep. and he likes to trick people. Yes. Um, but I also got one of the reasons he stays at that Lizzie Borden house is he has a fascination with violence and mm -hmm. 
-hmm. the um, the violence of of the deaths mm -hmm. uh, that happened in that home, and he's fascinated by the fascination that other people have. Yes. In the yeah. same. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Fascination. Oh my yeah. God. And he Didn't loves mean to, to make that convoluted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Yes. Um, so uh, he's gonna just hang out here. Um, I'll let mm -hmm. you know. No. I know. Yeah. I'll let you know. We will let you know when he says something, whatever. Um, again, you really can't believe the things that he says. So anytime he says something, we have to energetically or psychically decide whether that's the truth or not. We tend to use the word that land when mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like that, you know, your gut tells you something, right. that instinct, whatever, right. that gut that we just say it lands. Yep, that lands. That means, right. Um, also, when we use the word look, we look into, that <laughs> means we psychically look into it, not 3D physically look into something. Yes. So, and it's more than just looking, but that's just the term that we use. Yeah. So, I think we got all that covered. I, I think don't know. So. If we think of something else, we'll let you know. He's getting really anti. He's getting really, he, really excited. He is really anxious, really yeah. anxious to get um, into this. Yes. And he's anxious because part of it is he wants to see himself. Uh -huh. He's in there yeah. and he's like, <laughs> yes. he's pretty excited. Yeah. So, all right. So here we go. The investigation okay. of Lizzie Borden house. Yeah. Um, we had um, our person who, who um, does the videos for us. Um, he picks them out. He takes off what the parts that we can't look at right um and just sort of short to usually typically he just does the investigation so right right um and this you know we have a we have enough um influence with our own life experience around this story yeah we didn't need any more <laughs> right yes yeah <laughs> from from this so yeah because we we know the story yeah we know it really quite well so all, all right, right here, here we, we go, go. No, he kind of smells. No, I'm just kidding. I was like, I was like, no, I was just, I was looking at something. What are you looking at? That's what I was trying. The kids over here. There's one oh, that sits behind fine. the chest. There That's the little boy. So the reason I wanted to come in here is because who doesn't prefer children to adults? They're just much kinder. They're much more pure souls. It, These are they kids, they never now? know love. I think they never so. Know kindness. They've never had friends. I'm not going to talk to you guys. I'm going to talk to the kids directly. I want you guys to know that we're friends. We're not here to hurt you. We're not here to bother you. We're just here to communicate with you. You have all of these toys in this room. This is one of our own toys, so feel free to mess with it. I brought you in the doll from the yeah. other room, the bear Hold that on. you wanted. And Hold, I on. Hold on. Hold on. So he's laughing his ass off. Okay. Um, he's saying, there are no children there. There are all no children there. It's me. It's, it's me. <laughs> um, so we're going to have to really take some time to feel in there to see are there really is he telling the truth or is he lying again con man you yes. don't know for sure yeah but he's um right yeah. away he was like oh that's me yes yes he was pretty <laughs> excited about that so um mm. okay let's keep going yep. the corner like yours are sitting in the chair over there you don't have to come out from behind the chest until you feel like you want to. We're here with love and light. We hope that you feel the same thing. Is he scared of anybody in the room? You make him a little bit nervous. I do. Yeah, you do. Because of my dashing good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your cats, dude. I know that your mom didn't It's actually his big best, energy. But I can that see everybody that you gets good care of your sister. Yes. We're from, looking out for really each big, other. We want to be here really for each other. Energy. We want to be here for you. He loves that he has yeah, what people that? fooled so into they thinking there's something that he can tell. I'm going to put it back under because I know you're under there. Please don't freak out or be scared. None of this is harmful. None of it's going to hurt you. 1.4, 1.8. Bro, you can't go all the way back. My arms are not that long. He loves this teddy bear that I brought in. It keeps going up to like the one point somethings. That's staying at point two. He's standing oh. up behind it. You see it shoot up to okay, 1.2 when I put it up? Can we pause this for a second? Yeah. Okay. 
is this dude able to split his energy into different parts of this room? Yes. Wow. Yes. I yes. thought that's what I was feeling, but yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah, good catch. Yes. Yes, whoa. that is his. He, so my guides are showing me how there's like a ball in it, like whoosh, like that, like it just splits. <clears throat> yeah. That made me nauseous. <laughs> oh, you all right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. guy, yeah, my guides right here. It just was so, yeah. Wow, yeah. so wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, the the whatever she's looking at the little thing that is picking up on something, absolutely, but just not what they think it's picking up on. Yeah. It's um. It is, and there's a lot of energy in the room, lots of energy in the room. There, there is, I mean. And it's from them, it's from the people, all the people that have come before. Mm -hmm. um, all the residual from, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, so what I'm getting flashes of right now is that they do Ouija board sessions. Not, maybe not these people, but when I say they, meaning the people that go there. In, the, Ouija in the home. Yeah, do Ouija board sessions. Um, that's how he originally came in, this this guy, um, the witch. Okay, so that leaves that leaves a whole nother layer of residual energy yes. in the home. Yes, and when, the grids are just whew. all effed up, and yeah. that that yeah. yeah. Okay, let's let's continue and okay. see what happens here. Colby's gonna roll the ball to you gently, not so it goes under. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do it gently. Ready? Here we go. Whoop! <laughs> Yahoo! It went up to 0. 0.7 when it passed through. Wow. It was the energy on the ball. Can you send I'm it back? Getting, as opposed to... <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. What? It's moving. Did you see that? No. It's still moving. <laughs> Can you try sending oh it back again? Here, Eliza. I will move it. I could literally do this. You need to get the ball. Okay, fuck, oh, dude. dude. I didn't know. 1.9, 1. 1.5. Oh Wait, ask him to move it again. Okay. Okay. okay, Eliza, are you able to hit the ball back to our friend Colby? You got it, Eliza. It's kind of like a game. He's all nervous. You guys are putting so much oh, energy. Oh, Eliza. You did so good. Oh, Eliza. You did so good. Uh -huh. and someone let us know who Eliza hey. is. All right, Eliza, send, send it back. I'm not getting Eliza, it. Eliza, can you send it back to me? Are any of them like talking to you, or is it more like you're just asking him questions? No, he's nervous. I'm talking to him. He does sometimes. Like, he pointed to Kat when I was going to pass it to Colby. <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> can you send it back to me? Went up to the 80s. So, I'm going to stop this real quick yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. So, um,. He is not, this is the thing about this witch, uh, and, and is that he makes you believe whatever it is you want to believe. He feeds into whatever you want to believe he becomes, so she might feel that he's nervous or something like that, but it's a lie. He, there's nothing yeah. nervous about him. He's, he's not a nervous guy. Right. Um, and, um, and he has her believing that that it's, it's a, a, child a child that she's interacting yes, with. Yes. When no. Yeah. So he's he's a real. Um. Anyway, he has more so, power. Yes. Than I realized. Yes. There are. I do believe there are more spirits in this home. Um. I also believe there's some, and I know we'll talk about it after. But <laughs> uh, Lizzie and her sister. Uh huh. I think there's some shattered. Uh -huh. I think there's some. I, yeah, um, I have not got those pieces yet, but I know that that it. Again, that's from when I've looked into it before. So I'm trying to really stay focused on what's there now. Yeah. All right. Eliza, 105, 123, 133, 120, 109, 138. I'm gonna bring it out, and it's gonna calm down because he's not under there. Wow. 
Oh, this is crazy. Crazy. Oh my god. What no, do you think about that, dude? I have no idea. He's still under there. there. Alright, Eliza, we're gonna do it one more time just because mm -hmm. people are skeptical mm -hmm. and we know that you're there. So with my energy, like if this is what it's picking up on is like me, I don't go above 26, 27. Hundreds. Bringing it back out. So I'm gonna sorry, I have to I have to pause it again. Um when we talk about there's energy buildup in the house and that kind of thing and the way it moves. We talk about the way it moves. Mm -hmm. I was just asking my guides, how do I explain this better? Because I don't think I've ever really explained it well enough. I don't know, maybe I have. I know y'all are really smart. Um but what they showed me are like balloons that are kind of like um they're a little older, so like helium balloons, so they're not, way, they're sort of half, they're just bouncing. You've all seen that, like they're sort of in the center of the room. If you can imagine a room full of those and you walk through and how they move, that's what the energy does when there's so much energy like this that has built up and you walk through and they move. You can get them right. all into a corner, under something, uh, where balloons won't necessarily, I don't think, go under stuff, but energy will. Um, mm -hmm. And so if you can think of that while you're watching this and think of how every time she moves, um, how those balloons would, would mm -hmm. disperse. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. yeah. When you mentioned balloons, uh -huh. um, what I was seeing was not the helium balloons, but you know, regular balloons mm -hmm. and you get them together and the uh, oh, electricity, the, static. the yeah. static that builds up around yes. them. Yeah more energy yep yeah mm -hmm. yep yeah. and it just sort of feeds off it, itself yeah it does so great way to explain it thank you guys yeah i was gonna say thank you it's not me <laughs> all right nothing above the 20s with me well eliza thank you yeah thank you for thank playing you, with eliza. us i don't know if it was like a specific spot underneath this like that was just like slightly scented that definitely moved like a foot or two right when underneath I said, there can you send it back yeah boom that's when it went back yeah it, it stopped like it was stopped mm -hmm. for like 10 seconds that's yeah the thing is like it didn't go and then roll back it stopped, it stopped. and then rolled the other direction also it went like that way like yeah that, and that then way. back so like, it didn't go like this way which is where i feel like it's slanted and yeah then, like, true it could also be the balloon effect sure this is where his head was beaten. Yeah. Let me take it away. Oh my god! Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. Um, one thing I know, because again, we talked about this, um, that sofa is not the actual sofa, that is a replica of it, where he, he died. It was completely soaked in blood, and um, right. they got rid of it. So that's a replica, and um, the witch is there. Mm. Andrew Borden is completely crossed over. He was at at death. He com so he's not there at all. Um, so I don't know if anyone will see him or they'll talk to him or what. I don't know yet. However, he is there, posing as. Andrew Borden. Mm. Okay. So. Okay. Um, I do think there are other spirits there in the room, though, as well. Okay. Um, so when she was putting the the reader on the the couch, um, what I was getting was all of the residual energy from people touching it and, <gasps> and like sitting there like and loving up on it because that's where he was murdered. Okay. Um, so even that type of energy is going to build up in yeah. that, in that furniture. Right. As well as just because the original sofa or couch, whatever it is, wasn't, isn't there, mm -hmm. that's still the spot. Right. So that can build up. It the carries, energy. Yeah. And then it's everyone, touch, like you said, touch it. So it could yeah. be a lot of reasons. So, um, yeah, it could be a lot of reasons why. Yeah. The little reader thing is, so is going So if it off. was going crazy, I don't yeah. doubt it. Right. Even though it's, like you said, that's not the couch. Right. Um, right. It's energy is so not cut and dry. No. And it's not linear. <laughs> it's, no. 
it's you know, all crazy. The, all it's the dimensions crazy. were like we've talked about before are right yeah. on top of each other, and then the grids are just effed up and yeah, energy. And think of those balloons. Um, think of other entities being in there. Um, I don't, there's not a lot of other entities in there. I'm going to say that, um, but there are some, and I'm going to see if I can work my way in there and see and he's just happy as can be he is you said that you thought there was um maybe shattered pieces of lizzie yes. borden i think i'm picking up on that in this room oh, okay all right mm -hmm. and that uh, we might get into it during the video i don't know what's going to happen but we will definitely talk about that after mm -hmm. and why the shattered pieces when it happened etc all right. It's going all the way up to 8.5. Can't see it on camera. That's like right where he landed. That's where his head was, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I sat there. Oh, 90s? Why would it be doing that? Because he's moving and away again, from if me. These, oh, he was. That's why I'm following him. See the fact that she's way up there? That's like the balloon effect again. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. Wait, where's she going? Where's he trying to go? Away from me. What the fuck? There's Dude, no what? Entity Why is there, he up there? Because he hates me. He doesn't like you? He hates that I can see him. I see it get worse. It's yeah. going down now, now that you've been up oh, there. Don't worry. Even oh, worse! My god. <laughs> Next to me? Zero. It's zero. a zero. Watch no this. energy. So is he here anymore then? No, he's getting as far away from me as he possibly can. Oh, it's way less. Way yeah. less. And like one last time. It was 70 right there. So I'm going to pause this. So um, in one of the comments, um, they had said something about her having, uh, being psychic or a medium or something. I don't remember what they said. Um, this girl right here in the white sweater. Um, if I, I don't doubt that. I'm not saying she's not, but I wish she she's the same one. I think that was in that other in the Conjuring house when we watched that. I think this is oh, okay. the same girl. Okay. Yeah. Do you recognize her? I do. It took me a minute yeah. to recognize her. Um, I wish you would put the the readers down or whatever. You know, let the if if, uh, if yeah. she does have abilities, I, I would like to see that more and use her abilities rather than the yes um, yeah because I think the the tools yeah I don't. I, I think it's okay, it's very easy to allow the 3D stuff to take you out of um, your Absolutely. channel, out yeah. of your abilities. And so I think that's why I think if she were to put that down, she would have a better grasp on what's really going on there. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's really natural to, um, that's why sometimes watching, you'll hear us talk about when we're watching these videos, we get so entrenched in what's happening in 3D, <laughs> yeah. we lose our place in right. the multi dimensions. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what's happening to her here mm -hmm. is that she's. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's very, very young. So, um, um, you know, she could, having a good teacher, a good metaphysical teacher would be mm. much to her benefit. Um, sure but she needs to put that stuff down. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why is he up there though? Why is he in the room? Cause I don't think he can leave this room. Oh. Oh my God. We're not here to like prove anything or debunk anything. We're just like capturing like, our own experiences. So yeah. if you guys have any opinions, or please let us know. explanations on why it would only do this in certain places. So right now over he's over here behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so here, let me put it on you. Let me put it on you. That's an answer to that question. He's inside of you. So that's your energy. <laughs> His energy. So it's well, loading. He probably has just went up to 127. If we don't know if the equipment really does anything, we just do this the old fashioned way. Call out, see if we can communicate in any way. Let's try it. He's obviously here. Why don't I try to talk to him? So this is exactly the spot where he got hacked by who knows what, but... Um, Someone in this family. Mr. Andrew Borden, if there's absolutely anything you love to tell us, we just want to capture your message and show it to the world. 
please, if there's any anything you want to tell us, please go through Amanda. Let us know. Does anyone have their phone? I'm getting some them? pieces. Will you of, look up if there was? Uh, I know that none of them were told I think by it's poison. it's shattered pieces. Oh of my god! People. Yeah, there's a rumor where. Uh, um, and this is really disturbing. It's first I picked up on um, a young girl um, that has been to this home um, and she's living, but she lost, she lost a soul piece in this home because she experienced abuse. Okay. And I am also picking up yeah. on a man that has been through this home that was an abuser. Um, yeah. 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 Really heart wrenching. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the, I don't know if the man is still living or if he has since died. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'm going to, while you let this energy sort of run through you yeah. before we Thank go, you. I'm going to just quickly tell you that when you have personally had experiences whatever the abuse is and the trauma and you meet up with someone it couldn't be in person because there's trauma bonding but also in spirit um, it does the same thing there's that trauma bonding there's the empathy attachment um, and it can really you can trigger you it can trigger your PTSD your CPSD it can trigger all of that and with that mm -hmm. every time you know, you like dissociate or something or get a fright, it, it triggers you, you can lose a little soul piece. And so that's what she's picking up on there. Um, and maybe at some point we'll go into that more, but that's what you're yeah, picking up on. That's what I'm picking up on. And yeah. that happens a lot in these places. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. And it could be so, more than one, um, yeah. but there, yeah. Sometimes anyway. people are drawn to paranormal because of that, they don't know that's the why, but they're drawn yeah. because there's that connection of wounding, that wound connection. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whew. Okay. You ready? Better. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um, the parents thought they that Lizzie tried to poison them. So the first thing I wrote down was he knew them, and like now that I'm saying that out loud, I realize that them is a plural. So it was a. Plan. And then the second thing was poison. And he said something more before that, but I wasn't able to make out what came before poison. It says, before the murders, the entire house had fallen ill. Spoiled mutton was the official cause, but Abby suspected that they had all been poisoned. Can you give us some sort of sign if you were poisoned? Make some sort of noise? Abby, I think, was the stepmom. Possibly. That name sounds familiar, uh, though. I'm getting, like, so choked up in here. Really? Why? Don't remember. I don't know. I'm getting, like, a really, like, lump in my throat. When I communicate with spirits, if I'm not able to hear them directly, sometimes they make me feel how they felt when they died, which is, to be honest, the worst part about what I do. I've come across a man who had metal go through his skull, and I had the most splitting headache. But that's something that spirits do, whether or not you can see and speak to them directly, to they let you fear. know their story. Mr. Borden, so we know- mm -hmm. um, I'm going to correct her in saying it's not because of, it is, it is a form of communication. Absolutely. That is how they communicate to you what happened. Yes. So um, it's very common yes. that that happens. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so again, it's not instead of, it's in addition to, it's how they communicate with you. Mm -hmm. They use all of your um, psychic senses, all of your clairs. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that's how they, so that's part of the communication. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So Absolutely. just so you all know. Yeah. Um, and while it can be very disconcerting, it can be very uncomfortable, it is still a phenomenal way to receive information. Yes. And you receive a lot of information that a way. a lot. Um, yeah. And it's, there's more clarity yep. when you can receive information yes. um, through the clairsentience. Mm -hmm. so. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. So, okay. You took Lizzie's pigeons and killed them with a hatchet. What was that all about? It's because they were vermin. 
Vermin? Vermin, uh, wild animals that are uh, harmful or that carry diseases like rodents, like pests. And is there a reason that you stay here? See, I get... I get that he killed them to punish her. Punish her, uh, yeah. We're gonna yeah. leave you alone. So if there's any last things you want to tell us, anything you want to tell the world, anything you want to get off your chest about the case and or about your life, now is your last and final chance, for us at least. I feel like he doesn't like us very much. What's this? Leave? Leave? Yeah. Was that it? That was the he last thing leave. he said? He just wanted us to leave? Set out. And like, I kind of ignored it because I was like, and he goes, leave. Obviously you saw that we went upstairs, we explored okay, and here. did a little sound. Um, I just wanted to, to, to say something about, um, because they're getting different information than we're getting or she is and you can all things can be true at the same time so we're telling you what we're getting out of the room yes um that part of why mary lynn and i love working together is because we will get different information yes. and then what what we do is then we talk about that and then we sort of we keep looking into it. We keep getting more information until mm -hmm. we come out with what's really happening. Right. So that's part of why we like to work as a team. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So many things can exist at the exact yep. same time yep. um, in different in different ways. It's you know it's just like in in real life um, if somebody tells three people a story, those three people are going to have different interpretations of that yep. same story. Yep. Um, same thing. Why shouldn't we get different information? Right. Um, a car crash. You yes. Have five people that watch a car crash. Each person's going to give you right some different information. What they they saw it different. Each one. That's yes. the same thing that happens. Yeah. And so. that's how you put together. Um, that's how you put together the story. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because one person can't know everything. One person can't right. see or nope. absorb everything. So. Nope. Um, yeah. yeah, just because we're saying we get one thing and we don't get what she gets, or, yeah. or what any of them right. get, yeah. um, because they may not know it, but these boys have abilities. Yes. So yeah. anyway, um, that's another story. But that's uh, yeah, yeah. That was a good, great thing to yeah. to point out. Okay, ready. This thing with the kids upstairs, and then we try to ask some questions. So Mr. Andrew Borden here, but he told us to leave. Get out. Cat kind of fell sick in here, so I think we're gonna move on and try to find Miss Margaret Maggie herself because I think she's the one that wants to reach out the most here because she feels the most regret. She's oh. in the dining room where the light just turned on. Okay. I'm in the bed. light just turned on. So the um, sorry we keep stopping, but there's so much to say. <laughs> um, so we've talked about this before but when there's a lot of energy in the room it can be either from an entity or just the fact that there's a lot of energy um if you're prone to getting um nauseous getting headaches mm -hmm. getting back pain mm -hmm. whatever it is that's where the energy is going to settle and the energy sort of it um stifles it it, it, oh, okay. it smothers. That was the word I was searching for. It can smother. Now, an entity, that energy, it just flows right to, we kind of call it the weak <laughs> spot in your body. Right. So if your elbow's your weak spot, that's where all that energy is going to land. It's going to smother and you're going to feel. So right. she's feeling nauseous because of all of that energy. Yeah. And it's um, some pretty... Yeah. It's a pretty heavy energy yeah. in that room. When we go yeah. to places that have this much energy, Ugh. we're constantly clear. We clear each other. We don't just clear ourselves. Right. We clear our other. Constantly. Our other. <laughs> we clear each other. So, yeah. 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 And, yeah. Um, yeah, and he loves all of them. The, the fear is just part of it. Yeah. But entities love that. So, here we go. The light, light just turned up. Just oh, turned on. Maggie, we're coming in. If you want to talk, is she in here with us right now? Yeah. Can you see her? No, right now I can just feel her. Will you please come sit down in front of the ironing board with us? We'd love to have a conversation. Yeah, it's the sit down it's and talk really to her. you. We know that you don't get to tell your story now, I so if you want to share with us, now is your opportunity. Everyone that was make in it go up 
for yes really and line, down for no. I'm hoping that you can get it above five for us, but we'll see what you're capable of. I think the question that everyone wants to know, so I'm hitting with a hard one to begin, is did you have any involvement or knowledge in the death of Andrew and Abby? I always wanted to say Addy, even though I know it's not right. Was it you that turned this light on in here? You make some sort of noise? Anything you want to tell us, or if you want to show yourself, please give us any sound or sign. Use this device. So show yourself. This to him is really boring. Is this guy just standing behind me. I don't know about whoever else is in the house, but to him, this kind of thing is boring. Just There's sit around the house and question. There's something else in here right now. You know what it's not a person. What's that supposed to be? I don't know what I'm picking up on, but there's there's so somebody, the there's a ghost the house that keeps walking the by the door. Like um, and they're like, oh, they're and still in there. Oh, yeah. they're still yeah. in there. <laughs> it, like, it bores them to death. They, they're so bored with the whole question. The thing that thing. makes me nervous yes. about it is how all the other spirits are reacting to it. This is the first time, the entire time we've been here, this has stayed at zero. Yeah, it's you guys realize that? Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, is there anything out there that wants to talk to Don't. us? Don't ask. Everything in the house right now is done. Like, done? Except for this thing. We should stop. Really? Really? Yeah, we're done. Is it that bad? It's pretty bad. Like, in this room bad, or like just in for the night bad? I think we should stop. What's the saying? Can you tell us anything? What this thing? Like, what are you talking about? I've talked to you guys about how there are things that come through. Something has scared us. her. Yeah. Things that we touch us. Like, this is the shit that we don't mess with. This is the shit that you don't acknowledge. Don't talk to it. Don't act like it's there. Can you describe what it looks like? Can you describe tomorrow what it looks like? But we're not talking about it right now. What'd you write down? I can't hear what she's saying. She said there's there's something that you don't acknowledge, something you don't What the fuck? Um, oh my yeah. god. She won't talk about it. <gasps> the camera back. Something has definitely that was fully scared. Charged. Her. Yeah. Is it the switch? Forget God you're on your own. Oh my god, no, I have a cross on. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. I have power over this thing. It has no power over us. Don't be scared. You're stronger than this thing is. <laughs> Sorry. I just got really lightheaded. That's yeah. Great. My you need to leave. Oh my god. Out. What has her so Out. I know what you love is that she is so scared. You ran up to the to Abby's room? That's where it ran. I didn't even think about this thing out of room, but it left. It's gone it, now? It's gone. I, like, it's out. Why would it just come up here and then leave? So it was in the dining room and then it just it's ran up the stairs gone. and then dipped out but the windows? Or? I, I like chased it. Oh. That's, the, that's what I mean when like I say that you can't let these things fuck with you. Like we yeah. are the ones in power. Another question people ask me a lot is if I have physical reactions to when spirits come around. Mm -hmm. My heart rate. Normally sits around like 50, Might right now it's like at 102. 102, yep. oh shit. I felt like really like lightheaded. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop it now, let's go. Um. Oh, 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 oh. So, absolutely a trickster and had her running in circles, had her scared, had her moving. Yeah. Um, um. It started out, that, so the witch is there. But this is not what the witch is doing. No, no. And I think that um, what I was sensing that kept coming up to the doorway, uh -huh. I think it was that trickster. Um, Oof. Yeah, I was lands, getting, when I finally like got a flash of it, it was like maybe three feet tall. Um, and that's all I'm going to explain because I'll get carried away into the explanation of, of what it looked like. But yeah he, yeah, he wanted to scare her and he did. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I could just hear him. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's one thing, and we've 
I don't know how old she is, but um, we were once her age and learning new stuff. And um, you do sort of with age, you, you, you learn more, you have a lot more experiences, um, you find a teacher, everyone, every medium needs a, a teacher. Yes. Everyone, every one of them. Um, yeah. And I hope someday she does find herself a teacher um, because a lot mm -hmm. of what she's doing, I understand it, yet she would treat it a lot different. Someday she will treat it differently. I'm going to say She will. That. She will. Uh, and yeah. she's not doing herself any favors by... Um, internalizing all of that fear that Correct. she feels. The instant yeah. she feels that fear, mm -hmm. she internalizes it. Um, and which, then tries to say, okay, that's it, and then goes after it. And yeah. That's like, but that internalizing, that yeah. trickster dude is just feeding yeah. on that. Yeah. But she's yeah. doing herself some, some yeah. physical harm yes. in holding into all of that. So yes. um, And it's not gone. A living a young person like that living for it takes a lot more to get a trickster like that to, we've come up with come up against many of them mm -hmm. and um, it it takes a lot more than just chasing them up this they enjoy that let's mm -hmm. just say it they mm -hmm. enjoy it I have no doubt she's feeling what she's feeling absolutely and she's scared mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to appear scared because she you know, no one wants to appear like they're scared. They want to, you want to appear like you've got it all together and you're so I, no blame. But it's her, a but, trickster. So but it's a trickster. you know, he, they they create fear yep, and it's do. it's valid. Yep. Um, I did feel like he did he did run away. He he wanted her to feel that yeah that whatever that power. Um, but he's not gone. No. Mm -mm. See now, I. I'll disagree. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think her own um, uh, fight, flight, or freeze response kicked in, and that's why she got up and she couldn't sit where she was at because, um, yeah, yeah. I, so I will agree I with that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's what I think happened, and she just she, it, it was she just freaked and had to run out of the room yeah that's what i think happened yeah i i will agree with that and when he when he left it was in this other room that she was in okay yeah okay. that's where i felt him that's where i saw him uh -huh. and then he he left after that left the room okay i will say because i see him chasing her more than the other way around but again you know everyone yeah <laughs> you know so yeah so this is, I didn't think we'd have as much fun watching this video. I um, didn't either. Yeah. Because, yeah. This is great. Yeah, it is. And we're only halfway through the video, so we better get back to it. Yes. <laughs> we'll try in not to corner, stop it anymore. Up in a corner. Do you remember how I was getting up into the corner with the uh, door? Its limbs are long. It has no hands or fingers. Like, it's just sharp. Mm -hmm. Its face is completely distorted, its neck is long, and it sits up in the corner of rooms or down low where you can now, he see presented, it kind of just up way against once, the wall the and way she's describing? Uh -huh. like this yeah. watching all of us. Holy shit. Like it's almost Slenderman sort of like creature. Yeah. That I guess, yeah. yes. Yeah. Because not as tall. Oh my so he came in God. before, so there's remember? Nothing you were wondering if he was the there's witch. There's always a spiritual war going on. No matter what religion you believe. Buddhists. Muslims, Christians, Catholics, Jews. There is a spiritual war going on 24-7 between good and evil. Sometimes the evil kicks ass. Sometimes you've got to kick it back. Are there any other like spirits here now? Like they're, I know they like, went away after that, but... You they think? haven't come back yet. I know they will because yeah, this is like where they reside. Back. This is their home. I know that that thing doesn't stay here. I know it was here because and I don't of what we were doing and not that we invited know. anything in, but that's what I mean where even if you're not doing a seance, even if you're not playing with Ouija boards, things can come in and affect you and that's why you need someone who's able to tell the difference between good and bad. Kind of sounds exactly like her Queen Mary experience. They I, want I, you to believe there's no God. Like I said, oh, absolutely. But they did yeah. do a seance. Because God is yeah. the, oh, like, as powerful as like yeah. we are. Touch that? No, I had my hand here the entire it, time. I... Bruh. That, that just went off. That just went for off. Did it, did it die? It, 
It might, might have. have, but I wasn't. This camera is brand new. It should have a better battery life. Yeah. We've gone through three batteries. You know one place we haven't explored yet? Lizzie Borden's house after she got free. Maplecroft. What if we go and explore that real quick, wait for the spirits to get back and comfortable now that the evil thing is gone, and then we come back and see if we can talk to Maggie one more time? Most spirits don't want to come back to a bad time in their life, so Lizzie Borden, knowing that this house was basically a prison for her, obviously wouldn't be here. We haven't gotten in contact with her, and she lives right up the road. So weird so how I'm she lives so close to where she... Real quick. So... He said people don't want to go back to where they had a bad time, and that's not exactly true. Mm -hmm. Some do. Um, mm -hmm. That's where, in this case, too, where I believe part of Lizzie is actually still there. Some mm -hmm. shattered pieces of her are there. Mm -hmm. um, I do think the rest of her has crossed over. Mm -hmm. And, I agree. Um, yeah, is mm -hmm. in a very, you know, that high vibrational, healthy state, but she has pieces pieces she does. here and I will add um, there's more than one piece that shattered from her in life oh it was yeah in my opinion it was before she died Th that the, all of the them shattered, are that. yes her, she and the sister both have yes. shattered pieces there and absolutely it was, it was yes. the trauma and yeah. the the the, the post-traumatic stress or the stress at the moment yes before Yes, during their yeah. abuse and yeah, before yeah. the actual murder. Yes, even yeah. yeah. So, all right, let's keep going. Okay. She murdered her parents. Yeah. Why would yeah. she want to stay here? Like, like four minute drive, and we're about to get up to her newest house. Like, so why would you want to live here? She did murder them for money. Well, know, she didn't have a car in the eighteen hundreds. Pretty much, she got her goal, and she got to move <laughs> to the part of town that she wanted to live in. If the entire town ostracized you and thought you were like a horrible person for it. Why would you stay? In why would you want to stay? And wouldn't you be kind of traumatized until I know that you know you committed a murder right one literally a one mile away like where mean, you're like living the rest of your life. You're just psycho. Definitely looks a little bit nicer than the other estate. Not I'm honestly thinking that like John, Morse, and Lizzie didn't give a fuck, but Maggie was the only one that really felt bad for her. Well, even when I walked into her room before I knew which room it was, I said she just has the most remorse, the most amount of guilt over anything. So clearly, she had a conscience. One thing that also makes you know that she regretted it is she tried to like peace out as far away as yeah. possible. Everyone else yeah. stayed in this area. <laughs> she legit got away with murder. She did. That's crazy. I don't feel anything in this house. Shows you that like there's like places that are literally like completely free of spirits. Where is Lizzie? Is she did she pass on, you know? Well, okay, this is what I would say. If you guys don't think Lizzie is here, it is 3 a.m. Holy shit, I did that perfectly. It's 3 a.m. Okay. on the dot. We gave some time for the spirits to come back to the house. What do you guys say we go back and do <laughs> one more little seance in the basement? Cause we've talked about that, we've hyped it up. I think it'd be fun just to go down there. We don't have to say it for long. It did feel the creepiest. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was the gnarliest room in the entire house. I think it'd be awesome and, and it'd be cool to see See if we can finally talk to Maggie because we we're so close with her. There's no way there'd be any electrical energy on a freaking. Well, look at this. Floor. Oh my god, yeah, just like right around here. Middle here. of where we're sitting. Perfect. All right, now we know. I hate it here. Again, why? Like a, I just feel so You said that too. You said that too. Why, so what is what's down here that's so different? Just like makes me feel uncomfortable. I also hate it down here. I can yeah. feel somebody standing behind me. I know. I literally that's was thinking that. I was, that. I was just say. thinking that whoa, and I whoa, whoa. cannot. I hate it. It freaks me out. You need to chillax. It when freaks me out, dude. Just wanted to note that when you said something moved to behind you, this went half. It was at 30 and now it's at 18. This is where the alleged murderer hid the murder weapon, which we think is an axe head that was recently broke off. Did, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. The camera's moving. It was? You hear yeah. that? Yeah. Listen. It's creaking. Ow! Oh, oh, God. <laughs> it stopped creaking. Like it was like twisting or something? It was, it, was, mm -hmm. it was moving. These spirits down here that want to communicate with us, it's our last chance, or your last chance to talk to us. You can talk to us through our device right here, or make a noise, make yourself known in any way you can. We're not here to hurt you, we're not here to scare you at all. We just want to know God, so that you guys can talk to us. And prodded and 
So give us a sign if you're here. They don't... The spirits don't like these little sessions. I think I was saying something, but what? like... The camera looks like it's moving back and forth. The trickster is down there. Yeah. Maggie, and Lizzie, Andrew, they're not down here. Yeah. So what is? And that's from that trickster. Something negative. Okay. My heart's racing, yeah. but I think I'm picking up on um, that gal in the middle. Is there any other sign yes. that you can give us? You if we talk were to there, us? we would totally clear her energy and ground her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who are you? We're oh. not welcome down here. Yeah, my heart's starting to like pick up for no reason. I'm mm-hmm. getting heart palpitations. Yeah, same. I was like, ooh. What? Everybody. The blood of Jesus Christ covers us. We are holy. You are not welcome to come with us. You are not welcome to come near us. You cannot communicate with us anymore, ever again. You're not allowed to acknowledge us. You're not allowed to talk to us. Do not come near us. So, to be honest with you, we gotta leave. Powerful spirit. They do not care what you say. That doesn't. And the trickster doesn't. Okay, I was gonna say it got like. Yeah, it got really dark in here. I think that turned off. We should leave. Do we have to? Be the best Here's the thing. I totally understand that what you guys do is your job, but you guys are messing something that's bigger than yourselves. If you want to do it for views, I respect that. For me, I live with this on a daily basis. You're not going to get anything beneficial. It's not going to give you that. You know what it is? Yes. It is here. It is true. I agree with that. You're not getting anything beneficial. Yeah. Yo. No. There's a fucking. Did you? A fucking shadow just went. See, see, see this like window right here. A fucking shadow just went like that. Boom. Window. You see that for to the other room over there, I'm where we were standing and talking. Boom. We were oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right when you said that. That Holy no, wait, wait, wait. Shit. That is where the creeks were. Stoss was literally just talking about the the face over there. Yeah. I want us to go see it. this right now. I didn't yeah, see it. I wish you could do this. I wish you could just walk forward. Yeah. That's why I said we need to leave. Tell you I have physical reactions. We need to get the fuck out. 153. Yeah. Oh my fucking yeah, th- god. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My heart's beating really fast too. Yeah, I just I got chills. Say really quick. Quick. I see. Um, when you are so any of you who are ghost hunters or whatever, and you go into these places and you start feeling that. Your body is um, giving you information. So to sit and it comes out as fear, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, Hit your fight and flight response. Um, If you were to sit right now, if all of these people were to sit and say, okay, what information am I getting from? They would get so much information about what's actually going on down there. If they mm-hmm. were to sit and read what's happening within your body, yes. that's why your body is right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And yeah. they would learn a lot about themselves too. Yeah. At the same a lot. time. Yeah. 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 So, um, so think about that, you all. If you go out and do any of this. Mm-hmm. They're, Our bodies are yeah. amazing messengers. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful yeah. way to say that. Yeah. Yeah. So they can learn a lot by not giving into that fear. The fe- it's telling your body is telling a yep. messenger. Yep. Giving you messages. Yep. Giving you messages. Yes. It's telling you stuff. Yes. Um, you might find out that it's telling you, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but you might also realize that there's a very scared um i was just gonna say that's in that basement yes and that's what you're picking up on you're picking up on that that entity that ghost that 
what, who's frightened. And so it's not actually your fear. Yeah. You're picking up on. It's their fear. It's their fear. And that's yeah. what you're picking up. Yeah. So always at these times, take a moment to tune in. Is yes. This, is this my fear mm -hmm. or not? Or is it your fear? Yeah. Or is it the entity's fear? Right. Or the ghost? Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Two, two. Sam, out. Okay. I don't know what my phone is now. Get out of here. Fuck out. Yeah, no, What did you see? See how you can see the light from this room barely? From the red, I know, like, our light is on, but you can barely see, like, another light's on in there. Yeah. The entire light disappeared and went, Like, just like a giant, like, big object moved across it and just completely blocked, like, Because I, I literally, like, I thought it was... It looked like this, like light going back, like by behind you, like this. Yeah. Uh, but there was something behind you too. Before that happened, I still feel it now, but my heart's like racing, and that that is a rare thing for me to like get like yeah. anxiety over something like this. But like I, I just started feeling nervous as we stood up. She was just like, "It is over there." Oh fuck! I told you guys like thirty seconds before. Hey, we're done. Yeah. And then we wait thirty more seconds, and shit hits the fan. That's crazy. You can see it though. I yeah. rarely, rarely see anything. Like yeah. when we do these adventures, it's like we usually just like hear stuff, or sometimes like you know we've had things fall over and stuff like that. But like actually seeing like a shadow person or figure, mm -hmm. whew, that was That's crazy. terrifying. The fact that everyone's heart started racing Literally. at the same time, and then, yeah. Like, and then chills, yeah. chills everywhere, and then her heart is like 160 beats per minute. You think it was the same thing here in this room in the in the dining room as it was downstairs, or different that things? Was different. It was different. It's almost there. And, yep. and as we close our eyes, that's when the lights decide. Yep. I bet that's on the camera, like super creepily. None of us were touching the camera. Yeah. Out. Oh my god. Holy fuck fucking god. shit! You heard that, right? Yes. That was not any of us. Was that in the dining room? Yeah. We, we just referenced that shit. Dude, no. My heart is falling. Do you see this? Like the green, if this was us that like <gasps> turned it on, it would have been a motion to sensor right here. We walked this way and turned green, but then it turned green. So it like would have had to have been someone in something there. Something in there. Something was in there. Okay, we're back to the window. Yeah. The light just turned on. You have to be that far in for it to go off. So that means there was 100% something, something in, here. in here. Walking around. 100%. Here. I was like shocked that that green light thing. Yeah. That does make any yeah, sense. There's just no denying it. Like Cause like you would have had. To, I was three feet in there. Yeah. Before it turned on, so that means something would have had to been in there to turn. And on the green light. I walked past here, and I was like, "Oh, it's dark." And nice then rug. Past there and I was like, <laughs> it turned on. And yeah. I, was like, oh. I was like, I didn't go in there. Yeah, it didn't make any sense. All right, guys. As you can see, the sun is rising. It's what, like 5 a.m. right now? Dude. 4.52 a.m. My little thing literally says sleep well because we're supposed to be sleeping. Oh my god. This is one of the latest investigations we've ever done. That's what I'm saying. We're going to try to still get some sleep here, but just wanted to show them. We survived the night. We survived the night. We, we stayed all night. If we can sleep. Yesterday, you kept bringing up that there was like a butcher's we knife. We couldn't did. figure out what it meant. Rumble. And then we found out something today. What'd you find out? It's literally been driving me insane. Kevin, today, I just haven't been able to get it out of my head. So I Googled it. This is the first thing that pops up. Massachusetts author may crack Lizzie Borden murder case. And the most interesting note, Morse was also a butcher. Morse is the uncle who I was saying the entire time, the entire I time. believe he's who killed him. And Little, who's the author, believes he used a meat cleaver to kill the Bordens. And again, before we even got to the place, you said that like Abby found you beforehand. Yeah. And said that it was more, or she said the yeah. word more. I guess that they really have no idea the mystery yeah. surrounding this is so crazy. Exactly, I mean, if there was only Lizzie, the maid, and John Morse around, and they were all in on it together for the money, then obviously the story is 
gonna be mixed up, but I think it was John Morris. Case closed. Okay, that's what they think. Okay. Right. Um, so. Um, I'm glad we did this. I am too, Video. I am too. Um, and thank you everybody for the suggestion and yeah, there were a lot of thanks. them. And we have had many comments and emails wanting to know more about the psychic or the mediumship part of it. Mm -hmm. So today giving you more information on that was, um, yeah. that's what you've requested. So we decided to, to do that. I hope you liked it. Let us know if you like that. Um, yes. Put that in the comments. Is Please that what, do. Do you want more of that? Do you want more? Because um, we are um, paranormal mediumship healer teachers. That's what we do. We teach people um, how to do this. So it comes very naturally um, to yeah. to talk in that way as, as a teacher. This is what you need to explain. Right. So um, we both, you want to say it? We both think the same thing. W well, we do. Um, Lizzie did it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Now I have, I will admit, I have always had a but. Yes. If it wasn't Lizzie, it was the uncle. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the uncle was it, because that was, if I remember correctly, the uncle was their biological mother's brother. Yes. Right? Yes. So this is what we think, if you don't mind. I'm I just go, like, go ahead. Go um, ahead. So Andrew Borden, I believe, was a pedophile. Oh, yes. He sexually abused both of his daughters um, for a lot of years. Brutally. Yes, and um, when he, just like any pedophile, typically a pedophile, or what you hear the most of, there's a single woman with children and the pedophile meets the mom and they come in. In his case, he had children, but he still chose a woman who was easily controlled mm -hmm. that he could um, abuse and make stay quiet so he could continue to abuse his daughters yes. and that's what he did yep that's absolutely and i yep. think both daughters were in on it but lizzie was the one that swung the axe um i think everyone was in on it there's the uncle the, the maid, maid they all had a piece yep. of making it happen and i'm also going to say something else um <laughs> say it as someone who watches a lot of um uh, what is South Park calls it uh, murder porn? Oh, um, <laughs> so if you're into South okay. Park, <laughs> a lot of those shows on murders and serial killers, etc. Okay. One of the things that absolutely lines up with this is she destroyed their face, uh. and that's something that that an abusive person, especially when you're sexually abused, you want to erase that person. You want to take away their identity and you're so mad. You hit them over and over and over again to destroy what they look like. Yeah. And uh, destroy their identity. And that's exactly what happened here. So, yeah. um, and then you had made a good, a good point when she went to trial. This was in the late 1800s. Late 1800s, right. They, um, we had talked about this earlier. Um, I think maybe we did it on camera. I don't know. I don't think so. Not this part. No, this part we yeah. We and you can about say it earlier about her going about a win, woman back then. Well, yeah. I mean, women um, you, women weren't suspected of. No, it's just not something that you would think a woman no would. You're looked do. at as so frail and you yeah. know and, and being the daughter and yeah, a, a daughter couldn't do that. Um, yeah. She wouldn't have the physical strength. Right. She wouldn't have the um the the whereabouts the, the yep. intelligence right. even uh back then yeah um so i think that's why a jury yeah didn't convict her um i'm also going to add her. the piece that it was in self-defense so any yeah. decent person wouldn't convict her yeah. well <laughs> that's my opinion well pedophiles should die my opinion. anyway i so they should not be breathing the same air as the rest of us and so, so I but, have no issue with what happened. But. Um, anyways. Yes. Anyway. Yeah. That was so good. Yes. That was yes. a lot of fun. Please let us know if you like that we talk more about 
um, you know, we get a little more teachery. Yeah. Because um, we yeah. certainly don't mind doing that. We would yeah. do more if that's what y'all want. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Along with always the ghost point of view. Always the ghost point of view. Um, yeah. And the questions, um, keep the questions coming. Yes, We've we love having, all the questions. Love those. Yeah. yeah. And we do try to answer all the questions. Sometimes the answer is way bigger than we can actually respond to but yes. we might do a video keep all those questions and do a video and really expand on on all those questions yeah. they're great there are some really great ones in there so yes yeah so so thank you subscribe like, share with a friend yep yes and take care yep <laughs> bye, bye. bye.